Every leader in the room wants to know why are we slowing down? Great question. There's only four possible answers, by the way. Well, just four. One's a black swan. Could be a national black swan, could be a global black swan, or if you're a smaller company, it could be a, an internal black swan event. And internally, it could be things like your, your uh, president died. I shouldn't have used that example because I'm the president. This is not one that I'm, <laughs> I'm fond of. But uh, you know, those are the types of black swan events that can, that can happen to you. Uh, nothing we can do about that, nothing you can do about that. The second thing that happens is that the economy slows down around you. And if you see it coming, you can adapt, you can know that you're just tracking with the economy or you're outperforming the economy, but you have time to prepare. Most businesses just see that they're slowing down and they wonder if it is the economy. And if they're managing their economic expectations by Wall Street Journal, they have really no clear understanding of what's going on. It could be that you're uh, market is slowing down. The third thing is that your, your particular niche, your marketplace, your vertical is slowing down, either through technology or through economic pressure that is subject just to that marketplace. The fourth thing is it's management error. Never popular, by the way, but that is part of what we do. Uh, when, when any of our team goes in and does a consult, we're looking to see if it was a black swan that's driving that rate of change down, the economy, the marketplace, and if it's none of those three, then we have to bring up the unpleasant subject, what are you doing? Because something you're doing is not working anymore. Something's putting you out of position with the economy. So you can use rate of change to answer the most fundamental question, how are we doing, and how are we doing as a management team? And if you're going faster and stronger than the economy, then you know that you're doing things right. If you're falling down below the economy, then you know that you have to take a hard look internally and see what's going on. And it's all available using your own numbers without any external information. You can see enough to know what's going on in terms of speeding up and slowing down. When we add the external numbers, you get a forecast into the future. You can see how you fit. You can start making decisions. And one of the things that we all should want to grab is a leading indicator or six. Anywhere from up to six indicators. More is better, but six will do, certainly do the job for you. Find those leading indicators and see your future. The company is in green here. And the lead indicator is in blue. Now, the company certainly felt all the recession. There's no doubt that they felt pain. And then they came soaring out and then you know, got in touch with us when they were on the backside of the business cycle, 2012, 13, slowing down, getting nervous. Are we going to double dip? What's going on? That type of thing. So we found a leading indicator, and we found a number of them. This is just one, and said, look, you can see what your future is going to be. And, and as that green line was coming down, the blue line is going up, we, we encourage them to think about expansion. We encourage them to think about changing their, their view of the future so they, they take advantage of the rising trend. Now, you notice that they went down longer than they did last time, and they went down a little deeper than the blue line suggested. That was a management thing going on, internal changes happening inside the company. But they did respond to the macroeconomic pressure. So instead of cutting labor, instead of cutting expenditures, instead of having a CFO who, who said no to everything, they were actually getting ready for some rise. And then as they were going up in what we would call phase B, the best part of the business cycle, above that black line, beginning to feel good about life, we had to come in and say, but don't get too excited. Because that blue line's coming down. The blue line says you're going to slow down in your rate of growth. And then we start talking about cash and inventory and, and all kinds of fun things. Now, with this in your pocket, you begin to see how you're performing, why you're slowing, whether it's normal, and whether the amount of slowdown is something that you should have anticipated. And we work with you on that through an executive advantage process. That's what Make Your Move, the book out there, is about. This is something that you can manage. Now, a friend of mine, and a friend of ours, actually, Hannah Sanchowski in Florida, said, Alan, this is probably the most insulting chart you have. And I never looked at it that way until Hannah uh, called my attention to it. And he said, because I time lapse it, and he said, right at that moment, you have insulted every leader in the room. Because when the line is going up, all leaders think, that's me. I've done a good job. Look how we're in recovery and how fast we're growing. And what you just showed them with this chart is, you've done nothing special. All you've done is respond to the economy in the way that the economy said that you should respond. So if in your mind you're a little disquieted and uncomfortable with this graph, it's because inherently it says, uh, you may not be doing really well, it was just the economy on that type of trend. Now on the way down, we all know it's the economy. We have no doubt in our minds, that's the economy. <laughs> Why are we slowing down? It's the economy, of course, it's not me. Uh, but how much we slow down, it's a management measurement tool that you can use to drive your thinking, your planning, and to see how you're doing, how divisions are doing, how facilities are doing, how, whatever unit of measure. We're gonna talk about this in greater detail in my forecasting one-on-one session, which is uh, mid-afternoon here in this room.